Listen to part of a lecture in an American literature class. The professor is talking about the writer Jack London. Today, I want to discuss the life of the writer Jack London. London was born in San Francisco in 1876. His mother was married to a disabled Civil War veteran called John London. The family moved around a lot when Jack was young. And eventually settled in the city of Oakland. As a very young man, Jack worked at various jobs, some menial but some adventurous. He sailed the Pacific, worked on a fish patrol to capture poachers, raided oyster farms, prospected for gold, and at one time joined an army of unemployed workers. He became acquainted with socialism and ran as a socialist candidate for mayor of Oakland. Although he was unsuccessful, Jack was always an avid reader and studied the works of many writers in order to learn to become a writer himself. In fact, he consciously chose the life of a writer in order to escape the unpleasant prospect of becoming a factory worker. The varied and adventurous life he led provided him with a wealth of material from which to create imaginative literature. At first, his submissions met with very little success. However, his disciplined approach eventually paid off, and he gained international renown with over fifty volumes of stories, novels, and essays to his name. His novel, *The Call of the Wild*, brought him lasting fame, and many of his short stories are considered classics. Other works of his critiqued capitalism, poverty, and alcoholism. At one point, he journeyed across the Pacific in a small boat. This trip provided the inspiration for stories about Polynesian culture. London became one of the best-known public figures of his time. He used his fame to draw support for socialism, suffrage for women, and later prohibition of alcohol. However, his political and social views were considered inconsistent and self-contradictory. For example, his support for socialism was countered by a strong belief in individualism. He supported women's rights, but dominated the female members of his family. In his thirties, London tried his hand at agriculture. He pursued this interest with great energy at his ranch in California, and introduced many practical innovations that were ahead of the times. During this period, he developed a kidney disease, from which he eventually died in November 1916 at the age of forty. What is the main topic of the professor's discussion? Why did London become a writer? According to the professor, where did London get his ideas for his publications? Why does the professor mention London's novel, *The Call of the Wild*? According to the professor, in what ways was London inconsistent and self-contradictory? The professor describes London's life chronologically. Summarize his life by putting the events in order.